are back with Rosita and Paddington's mini golden doodle babies. And they are four weeks old, guys. Yeah. Guess what that means? We are at the halfway point. I cannot believe it. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking to me? What are you saying? <laughs> Say, I'm cute. Or do you want your mama? Are you hungry? Everybody is, they're, they're licking my, my arm here. Yeah, are we hungry? They could be hungry. My um, three youngest, um, well, as of um, this week, they had a birthday. So my um, Ava and Nate share the same birthday. No, they are not twins. They are um, exactly one year apart in age. They have the same birthday. And so um, Ava is now six and Nathan is now five, if you can believe that. For those that have been watching us, can you believe it has been five years since we brought Nathan home? And um, from that very, very long NICU stay. And then, um, of course, my youngest, it's not her birthday, but um, she is three, still three. So uh, we now have six, five, and three, uh, at least until September when her birthday rolls around and then we have three in a row. But anyway, they um, all of that, all of that mumbo jumbo to say that they just finished playing with them. I probably should have done video before that so that they could be a little more lively, but um, they get a lot of hands-on. And um, right now, this is, uh, with, this is a litter of five. We have four boys and one little girl. This is our one little girl purple collar right here. And right now, um, they are staying in my dining room. So I don't have them in the nursery. I have them out and about our dining room. For those who, um, you know, came before we had our nursery, back when we were using the dining room, that's, that's kind of center in the middle of the entire house. And that's where um, they are right now. That way they get a lot of attention. Being just five babies and uh, where they get hands on all day, they're getting a lot of attention, which is awesome. Um, not that the other dogs that we have, our other puppies, don't get attention. It's just a little more work for us to give them attention because we have some scheduled puppy times and things like that. And um, when um, right now with us being really busy and Phil being sick, it's just easier for me to just move them in the dining room. That way I can still be mama to my kids and mama to the babies. And so it's been really good. So... Um, the people on this list, look at that little tongue. Oh, yeah. Are going to be really, really, really happy with um, just their socialization level. So this being week four, um, we uh, did another preventative deworming. And look at, look at you. He's like, I, I really don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, and they're on their gruel now. And can we show a little bit of teethies? Can you guys see that little tooth? Yeah. See, we're getting some teeth in there. I am doing this actually at dinner time, guys. So um, I did come back out to the nursery. So it's getting kind of, uh, kind of dark in here. So I apologize for the dark lighting here. Yeah. But I did get their pictures before it got dark. So you guys can see that true color. But um, let me go through them all. And then I am basically this week going to let you guys watch. Um, if you have seen my Instagram or Facebook, um, you'll know that Phil, um, Phil came down with an E. coli bacteria from some salad that he ate. One of those pre-mixed salad bowls. And um, he is still fighting it. Um, we are still home. We have not had to go to the hospital, which is great. Um, and so we're, we're working on that. Um, no, it is not COVID. Yes, he was tested. I want everybody to know that I get a lot of, um, people that immediately want to make sure that he doesn't have COVID and I'm like, nope, we're good. But that's not to say he is fighting dehydration still and just very, um, I shouldn't say, I mean, he's still dehydrated. He's, he's keeping things down, which is great, but he's just incredibly weak. So, 
Uh, if you think about it, pray for him, but you will see the reason my update is late. Hopefully, um, by the time that I post this, I will have gotten the update out to you, but I'm very sorry, guys. I know you all count on the updates, and um, I, sometimes they are a few days behind. So anyway, but hopefully uh, video is still on time, but look at this. Oh, there we go. Focus, focus. Yes. So um, at this stage, um, when they start potty training at two weeks old, we have them on their bedding, which is one of these nice thick, thick bath rugs. And then off of that, in their whelping area, they have our potty pads. And they're kind of scented. And so they don't like to sleep where they eliminate. So they automatically come off here. It's a different texture when they're two weeks old or just before they don't um, have their eyes open. So they're going by the, the, the sense of touch and of smell to locate their potty spot. And so that's when we start potty training at two weeks old. They come off here. And then, of course, this is the play area, so I kind of have them everywhere. But oh, 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 I, just, I just bonked you in the head. I'm sorry, pumpkin. But what we do is we eventually move that potty pad further and further away. They have to walk further away. And we always have bedding at one end, potty pad at the other. So, yes, your puppies come potty pad trained, um, you have to keep that up. That is not something that we want you to stick with. That is a way to kind of ease in to your potty training, have a good spot for puppy to be so that you're not always hovering or feeling stressed about it. So we're going to give you some crate training instructions. Yeah, I got my mismatch socks on today, guys. We're going to give you some crate training instructions um, that I will email to you, and that's going to let you know um, how we potty train by using the crate that they come home in the crate that they're training in, and then we use their play pin, and then we use their poochy potty training bells, and that all comes in your potty uh, uh, puppy packet. Too many papa. Puppy packet. And so, what are you, you trying to get up here? Here, I'll put you up here. I'll put you up here. So, um, that combination of things, the combination of the potty pads, the playpen, and um, the potty training bells, the poochie bells, that's how we get them to potty train. They are very smart, and it does take dedication. But I don't want you to get overwhelmed. Um, keep in mind, I've kind of said this before, so I'm just going to say it again, throw it out there. The first two weeks they go home, they are still newborns. So when you're dealing with an, oh, come on, please focus. How do I make that brighter? Does that help? Sorry, guys. I might make it look a little weird here. All right, sorry about the, the lighting, guys. Anyway, those two, two, first two weeks home when they're newborns, your job is to simply love on them and show them their their food, make sure they're getting the nutrition, their food and their water. <laughs> okay, you. And show them their potty area. Those are the three things you need to do. Love on them, nourish them, and just keep showing them where that potty area is. Keep their potty pad in their play area only. Nowhere else, not around the house, just in their play area. And that way they can eliminate there. We don't want them to get in the habit of eliminating on their bedding or near their bed. We want them to, to know that, okay, if you can't hold it, you can go here. But because you're going to be having nap times in the crate or at least nighttime in the crate, they're going to learn to whine in the crate. You're going to initially carry them outside, use the potty training bells, and we have instructions for that. And then eventually they're going to, um, I mean, within just... A couple days they're going to know where their potty spot is but that is all you need to worry about for those first two weeks at home they're just infants they're going to be our newborns they're going to be doing a lot of sleeping and so you just start and concentrate on those top three things and then after that when they turn into toddlers we're going to talk about that that's when we start doing more training a little more behavioral puppy uh, training, that type of thing. So we'll go over that next week. And I'm going to let you guys watch them right now. I'm going to wake them up a little bit. Hopefully they'll walk around here a little more for us. And um, next week already is our temperament testing. So um, everybody will get 
the temperament testing results, although we'll do it at week five, you're not gonna get it until week six. That gives me time to get everything together, um, do our evaluations and make sure that I have given you a really good assessment of what each puppy is. So we'll get that together uh, um, at six weeks and that'll be out the Wednesday before picking. So you'll have a few days to go over that. Look, are you on the toy upside down? Yes, you are. All right, guys. Um, oh, I didn't go through them individually, did I? Oh my goodness. I gotta tell you, I'm off my I'm off my game here. Okay, let's start with the boys. And whoop, 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 we'll go here with, this is black collar boy. Yeah. And um, all but one of these is a soft cotton wavy. So he's a soft cotton wavy red. And this is our little curly guy. This is, boy, that sun's going down fast. This is yellow collar boy. And he is like an apricot color, not yellow. Oh, this is really yellow. Anyway, he is a little more apricot. He has a little touch of fleece in there. Yeah. And look at you. Look at you, pumpkin. Yeah. Here is green collar boy, and he's that darker red. And he's a soft cotton wavy. Oh, look at you. And like I said, I think he's chunky, but I think he's gonna be a little smaller. He's got shorter legs. And then we have Orange Collar Boy, Soft Cotton Wavy, also a red, yeah. And then our one little girl who is a peanut butter color, and she is also a Soft Cotton Wavy. Look at her, look at you, yeah. All right, guys, I'll uh, wake them up here and let you guys watch them, and we will see you next week.